Let's look at attaching DWG files as a reference. Now, DWG files can be attached as a reference file, uh, similar to the way you would attach a standard DGN. DWG options can also be applied that we uh, saw in our uh, demonstration video when attaching a DWG file. And uh, the working units in the master file do matter. So as I had previously mentioned about AutoCAD using these insertion units and how this value is stored in the drawing, um, you'll see why the working units uh, would apply and how that changes the scope of how a DWG file is attached. Let's see a demonstration of this. To demonstrate the impact that working units have when attaching a DWG file, we're going to actually attach um, DWG file here in our master uh, DGN file. So before I attach it, I just want to uh, take note of the working units in our design file. So just like our, our DWG file, uh, our master units is, is in inches. Okay, so... Uh, what we'll do is we'll attach the reference and uh, we select our reference file. And here, just like uh, when opening the DWG file, we can go to options and you know you can um, basically change the units. Um, you know, this transceive file can be a, a swapped out for another. Uh, file, but really these units or these settings really don't matter when attaching um, a DWG file. So really, for the most part, we're just going to ignore that. So we're going to go ahead and attach our file, and um, you pretty much notice the the same settings that exist for attaching a DGN file because everything, all these settings apply for a DWG just as it would for a DW, uh, for a DGN file. So um, we'll, we'll talk about the true scale here in a minute. So right now, true scale is on. So we're going to go ahead and attach our reference. And so you will notice that, you know, our, our line is 12 units, or in this case, 12 inches, because that is our working units in our file. And then uh, to, to, to kind of prove that, we'll, we'll place a dimension. And already have a dimension style, and so we'll place the dimension, and it's in fact uh, 12 inches or 12 units. Now, I want you to notice what happens, and why I mentioned that working units do matter, because if I go into uh, the settings, and if I now change uh, my um, working units, or if I have a DGN file that has different working units. Uh, let's say in this case, let's change it to meters. I want you to notice what happens to my dimension. So what happens is now uh, the size of the element has not changed, but the reading of the dimension does because our working units has changed. So in 12 inches or a foot, foot would be equal to 0 0.3048 meters. And this is why this dimension changes. What's significant about this is if I were to redimension this uh, line again, and if I go into my dimension styles, See, it's using the working units, and this is why. So that's why this unit changed, or the, the unit measure changed to 0 0.3048. Now, I want to show you if I were to turn that off and uh, set it to inches and then place another the new dimension, you'll see that it goes back to 12. If I turn on working units, then it uses that value. So when we're attaching a DWG file, the working units of our DGN file does impact not necessarily the size of our graphics, but how they measure and how, if you do any annotation, any dimensions in that uh, DGN file of the DWG graphics 
will be impacted. So mind you, you would normally not be changing your working units in a master file in a normal workflow, but what this demonstration uh, did show is the difference that you would see in a DWG attachment when working uh, with working units, uh, let's say in inches or uh, in meters. Now, all things being equal, if elements are drawn to the exact same size in the DWG file or the DWG or DGN rather, uh, they will come in at the same size uh, when turning on or off true scale. So in other words, the reference attachment process treats DWG files the same way as DGNs when it comes to scale. There's no difference. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.